first feeding clip of this species in Dark Den videos. Feeding video! Feeding video! <laughs> As you can see by yourself here in front of me on this table, I prepared a selection of fine, fine, fine tarantulas. From Linda all the way to my friend's tarantula that I'm babysitting because he's currently in the US working there. You know, this colony of hissing roaches, it is also his. So I'm sure that you will enjoy this video. And immediately we are starting with the, with the biggest tarantula on this table. This is big Pezzoteria regalis female and if you are following me on the Instagram you know that she recently molted and unfortunately that means no egg sack. Better luck next time, right? I'm going to grab one big hisser and let's do this. And of course that it is followed by a loud hissing. Yeah. I wanted to lure her a bit but she was too quick for that. Oh, so strong. Can you see the fang that penetrated the roach? I mean both fangs. One is up here and one is down here. We actually have really, really nice view of that. It's brutal, right? And I'm pretty sure that venom will soon kick in and the roach will stop moving. Currently it is still struggling for its dear life. Ooh, ooh, ooh. More fang penetration, whoa, crazy. This view is awesome. This is the way to start a feeding video. I hope it means that the rest of the clips will be equally good. Sorry buddy, I know it sucks but that is the, the food chain and unfortunately you are on the bottom of it. Just like roaches got their predators, tarantulas they also have their own predators. Tarantulas are vicious but they still aren't on the top of the food chain, not even close. Gotta love this shot and you see the roaches actually yeah, definitely the venom is kicking in. Being killed by venom is much better death than being eaten alive. If I had to choose, I would prefer venom. <laughs> I'm going to quickly drop off this enclosure. Next tarantula is going to be this male Hilbrachis huahini. Don't bolt away. We did recently feed this one in a video, but I love their reaction, so I want to do it again. Run the road. We'll probably get a nice clip. Yes. Of course we will. Thank you for that little buddy. I can't wait for him to mature so we can have nice so we can have nice haba haba time with our female. Oh yeah. Really? Camera. No, battery. And he is potentially about to happy dance. Okay, I was quick enough. He is still not happy dancing, unfortunately. One close-up shot of his tiny eyes. <laughs> no happy dance, huh? Well, okay. See you some other time. <laughs> bolty bolty. Now what do you say about Linda? I'm not sure if she will take Roach because you see she is quite fat. But the good thing is Linda is super feisty so there is always a chance. And look what she did. Once again for the third time she is destroying this plant. Every time the plant starts to recover she destroys it once again. You see these dry leaves, they are all leaves from this plant and she's doing it again. How could you Linda? How could you? I want you to have a pretty enclosure. Is that too much to ask? So stubborn. But still, we are going to feed her regardless. Oh. Whoa, what was that? That was such a crazy reaction. She did like flip or something, I don't know. But it was crazy. You crazy, Linda, you know that? In case you don't know, Linda is Terafosa Stirmi, the blah, something Goliath bird eater, yeah. And she is getting huge, you see. On next molt, I definitely, I definitely need to make a bigger enclosure. And we also had quick fang action. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Terraphosas, they don't really have pretty color pattern or anything, but, but just the bulk and the shape of them, it is something special, right? God, I love it. And I definitely need to get an adult Terraphosa blonde. Oof, oof, oof. Next one, we have one freshly molted Brachypelma hamori, the sexy male. You see how his abdomen is really slim, so we need to fill it up. And we do it with what? With some juicy roach, of course. One is incoming. Let's drop it like behind to get some nice reaction. Oh, -ho. 
You missed it at first. Hey, hey, what was that? Are you maybe getting old and slower? Huh? <laughs> Such a pretty guy. Most standard tarantula and yet so pretty. So pretty. Next one is kind of similar, but even prettier. It is also one sexy guy that recently molted. You see, it is Brachypelma auratum. Maybe I even fed him once. I'm not sure, but he's going to enjoy it because today it is a feeding day and feeding day is his favorite day. Can you like catch this roach in, in air? Oh. <laughs> Not what I expected, but okay, it will do. I am going to allow it. <laughs> I like these species more because they are more subtle with their orange, orange on their knees and they have more black colors. So that is probably the reason, but I find them more, more visually appealing. Thanks, thanks, work it out, yeah. And we have another Brachypelma. She was also featured relatively recently, but still really, really slim and narrow. So we need to fill it up like right now. And it is Brachypelma baumgantherni. Roach, drop. <laughs> I wanted to drop it further away, but somehow it ended up hitting the tarantula. Whoopsie. <laughs> I also commented this on the last video, but their legs, you see, they are really, really black, like peach black. Only on this part, of course, these, of course, aren't black. Oh, actually, this is not less Brachypelma, but last one for now. Now something, something extremely, extremely exciting. Are you ready? This will be first feeding attempt of this species on the video. And of course, it is Pirupes simoroxigorum. Oh, yes. So far I noticed that they are really iffy with their feeding response. She ate every time I tried, but she didn't have like immediate feeding response. It took a while for her to get it. So I don't know if all of them are like that or if only my individual is like that. Let's feed it now. Enough talking and more feeding. Need one appropriate roach like mm, this one. Nope, nope, this one. Let's see how she will behave now. You see, she, oh, she's actually quicker this time with reaction. Come on, Roach, move, 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 move. Oh, yeah, there we go. First feeding clip of this species in Dark Den videos. Heck yeah. God, I love it. It is really, really beautiful tarantula. I'm so happy that I have it. Look. Look how beautiful these legs are. So shiny and everything. And the coolest thing is even in person, without bright light, it still looks like that. So incredibly pretty. Can't wait when captive breeding of these species will become common and prices drop. You will all enjoy these species. Oh yes, you will. Next one. I also tried to feed one that I that never ate on the video. We tried to feed it in last video, but she didn't. She wasn't interested and you see she actually webbed the perimeter now, so we will see if she will be done for that now. And the species is uh, Orfnaheus Filipinus. So hard to remember for me for some reason, I don't know why. Drop. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. yep, she was done for that this time. And oh, look, she will actually come out to, to show us how she looks, how pretty she is. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. We all definitely appreciate this. <laughs> By the way, shout out to all of my viewers from Philippines. I know that there is a lot of you out there. Oh, why, you, why did you go? No, when you come from here, once again outside, what is this? <laughs> no, she cannot decide. <laughs> I think that light is slightly bothering her. So let's close her off and continue with the feedings. And now I present you one, one tarantula that I received like one hour ago. And it is a big one. Big, big, big one. This right here is Diana. And 
You can see that this is a male Acatoscuria geniculata and Diana is actually a female name, at least in Croatia, it is a female name. The reason why this big handsome guy got a female name, the person that gave him to me, he bought it as a female, named it and then he found out that it is actually a male, so yeah, he is actually in the middle of cleaning time. <laughs> That's nice, but you know, this is male. Over there we have a female Acatoscuria geniculata, right there behind this is Balfouri female. But yeah, female, male, that means haba haba time. For now, let's check out if he is hungry. But be aware that since he is mature male, there is a high chance that he will refuse food. We will see. Only one way to... Oh no, only one way to find out. Really, I hate how good climbers these are. Hmm? Oh yes, he is actually hungry. I'm surprised, I didn't expect that. This was definitely unplanned feeding clip. Oh, but the roach is not having a pleasant time down there. Whoa, but his fangs are huge. I'm not sure if you can see it, but they definitely are. Can you see how big he is when you compare it to my hand? He's bigger than my hand, huge guy. Can you see how big his pedipops are? They really do look like a boxing gloves. Well, anyhow, enjoy your roach and yeah, you will need a lot of energy for our girl. He needs to be strong because you know our girl is not messing around. She definitely isn't. Look who is ready for feeding time. This is freshly molted Psamopeus cambrigae. And it's actually a female that now she's in too small enclosure. So you can expect relatively soon that we will set up one of these two enclosures for her. That's right. Now let me see how I can... Oh, okay. This was safe. <laughs> Let's grab a road. I couldn't find his or of right size. Chill, chill. So we will need to use this female lateralis roach. This will be interesting. <laughs> what a reaction! <laughs> now for the first time I can actually have a really nice look at her. So sweet. Let's get a better look. <laughs> no! Look how legs already broke. Where are you? Nah! Damn, I screwed this up, sorry. But thankful in this feeding video we had a lot of nice close-ups. I'm really satisfied. And just two more to go, this is Pterinohelus murinus, the usamba or whatever the, the color morph would be. And you see, this girl actually webbed a lot since last time I showed her. But don't leave us, we will feed you now. I will try to drop Roach up here and see if she will come. Drop. Yamu, oh, yep, yep. No, is that a threat posture actually? Come on, that is food, not, not a threat. It's a food, trust me. Oh yeah, she figured it out, oh yes she did. And once again, we see how Feng penetrated, oh, never mind, never mind. And last but not least, as I said, this is, this is Tarantula that I'm babysitting because my friend is temporarily working in America. And this is, as you can see, Brachypelma opilosum. She recently molted and I think that friend will need to get a bigger enclosure for her now. If it's a female, I'm not sure really. Let's see how we will end this video. Yep, we will end this video nicely, you see. Oh, such a curly fuzzer, awesome shot. Oh, look, 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 look. Is that a happy dance that I'm seeing there? I didn't expect this from the OBT, but I won't complain. <laughs> Oh, look, look at this, the roach is getting destroyed. Completely destroyed, sorry. Ugh, nature is scary. But yeah, we are definitely ending this video on a high note. I really, really, really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what you do. Comment, like, subscribe, uh, hit that bell icon. Uh, hit that bell icon again, I believe. See you next, what is, today is Monday, right? Monday, so see you on Friday, bye!